This video has five chapters, plus an introduction. Chapter 1. Making the ears and tail. Chapter 2. Adding the eyes. Chapter 3. Assembling the knee joints. Chapter 4. Attaching the legs. And Chapter 5. Attaching the ears, tail and control. Video 1 lists all the assembly tools you will need. And you can download a kit list from my website. Visit www.saravigarsart.com forward slash tutorials. Remember, if you have any allergies or sensitive skin, use any paints and glues at your own discretion. Check out the info available for the brand you are using. Chapter 1. Making the ears and tail. Assembly and painting. In your kit, you will find a sheet of ear and tail templates. In this video, I'll be making the ears and tail from these templates. But you can use your own choice of fabric, card or leather. If so, you can draw around these templates instead. Each sheet has spare templates in case of mistakes. You will also need the ear and tail plugs from your kits. The longer ones are for the ears. And the shorter one is for the tail. For this chapter, I'll also be using Yoohoo glue. Let's start with one of the ears. Step 1. If using card, roll the ear around a pencil or brush. You will need to do this several times. until the base can be rolled into a tight circle, as shown here. Step 2. Check the earplug can fit inside the rolled card. Start at the pointy end of the ear shape and roll the plug inside. The base of the card should be flush with the base of the plug. Once you're happy with the fit, you're ready to add glue. Step 3. Glue the plug inside the ear. You might find a stick useful for applying the glue. Apply the glue generously to all sides of the wooden plug. Then roll the plug inside the ear just like before. Make sure to pull it tight. There will be a tab of card still sticking out. Once the glue is dried, after a few minutes, glue that tab down. You will need to squeeze it shut for about 30 seconds. This is what you're aiming for. This is the hare's left ear. The right ear will mirror the left ear. Like this. 
When you come to roll the card for the second ear, make sure the shape is flipped over so that it mirrors the first ear. The whole process is exactly the same for making the tail. This is the shape you want to make. And this is what you're aiming for. Step 4. Painting the ears and tail. I painted the ears and tail with acrylic paints. Using black, white and burnt umber. You can use the colour reference sheet in your kits. Or you can make it up. This is how mine ended up. Chapter 2. Adding the eyes. Fitting the eyes and gluing them in place. Step 1. Check the fit of the eyes. You will need the two eyes from your kits. Each one consists of two beads. You can check the fit of the eyes inside the sockets. You don't want them to bulge out too much. Tip. A bradle is useful for getting them out again. Tip. If you think you need to deepen the eye sockets, you can try twisting a drill bit in the hole by hand. 5 mil would be the best fit. You will also need small wire snips and araldite glue. Step 2. Trim down the wire with the wire cutters. You will need to cut them short so that you can fit both eyes. Mine were about this short in the end, so pretty short. Step 3. Mix together the Araldite glue in two equal parts. Mix for about 30 seconds. Step 4. Apply a blob of glue to the end of one of the eye wires. And insert the eye into the eye socket. Repeat with the second eye. This is what you're aiming for. Chapter 3. Assembling the knee joints. Fitting, gluing and trimming the leather strips. Step 1. Check the fit of the leather strips. First, Check the leather strips are the right width. They should fit inside the slots on the feet and thighs without leaving a gap in the middle. 
Once glued, the leather will give the legs their flex. Tip. If the leather itself is thinner than the slots, you can wedge the slots with a bit of card for a snug fit. Step 2. Gluing the leather strips in place. Find a way to insert lots of glue into one of the slots. Yoohoo glue works well for gluing leather. Insert the leather strip into the slot. You may need to stretch the leather strip slightly to ease it into place. Repeat with the second slot to complete one of the legs. Once you have glued both legs, set them aside to dry. This will take a few minutes. Step 3. Trimming off the excess leather. For this step, you will need a sharp scalpel or craft knife. Tip. Pull the leather taut before you try trimming it. This will help you get a close and clean cut. Please remember to cut away from yourself. Chapter 4. Attaching the legs. Stringing the hind legs and screwing on the front legs. Step 1. Stringing on the hind legs. You will need the length of braided thread from your kits. The ends should have been waxed with beeswax. Tie a double knot in one end. The wax should stop the knot from slipping. Now find the wire threader from your kits and feed through the other end of the thread. Squeeze the wire loop shut with pliers. We'll use this just like a needle and thread. Thread it through the middle hole on the puppet's side, as shown here. Now thread on the first leg, as shown here. Next, thread on the second leg and thread the cord back through the centre of the body. Finally, knot off the other end of the cord. Tip, grip the centre of the knot with pliers and pull tight. The legs should hang loose, but stay flush to the thighs as well. When you're happy, tie a second knot in the cord. You can trim off any excess cord with scissors. Step 2. Screwing on the front legs. In your kits, you will find some screws and some washers. Choose the screws which give you enough length when threaded through your front legs. This will depend on how thick or thin you've carved it. Thread on one of the washers.
and screw the leg into the top hole on the puppet's body. Using a small Phillips head screwdriver. Adjust the screw until the leg can swing and rotate freely. Repeat with the second leg. Chapter 5. Attaching the ears, tail and control. Guess what? You're nearly there. Step 1. Create braddle holes for the ears and tail. Using a braddle, poke two holes in the top of the head and one in the middle of the bum. Step 2. Attach the ears. Take one ear and grip the top of the screw eye with your pliers. Carefully rotate the screw eye into the braddle hole. Keep going until all of the screw thread has been embedded. Once in place, you can adjust the position of the ear. Repeat with the second ear. Step 3. Attach the tail. Attach the tail in exactly the same way. You can position the ears and tail however you like. Step 4. Fitting the control rod and handle. In your kits you will find a rod and a small block of wood. These are for the puppet control. Start by checking the fit. Try inserting the rod into the hole in the hare's back. If it won't go in, Try loosening the hole with a braddle. Now check that the rod fits inside the hole in the block. The block of wood will be the control's handle. Step 5. Shaping the handle. Using your whittling knife, shape the handle by knocking off the corners.
When you're happy with the shape, you can also sand off the ends. Step six, gluing the control in place. To prepare for gluing, lightly sand both ends of the rod. Tip, you might want to wear gloves for this. Carbon fibre particles are sharp, so take care. The roughened surface will adhere better with the wood. Mix together some Araldite glue in equal parts. And glue one end of the rod into the handle. and the other end into the puppet. You can paint the handle black with acrylic paint. And there you have it. Your hair puppet is finished and ready for operating. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial series. If you want to send me any feedback, please get in touch. You can send me an email, sarah at sarahvigarsart.com or you can contact me through my social media channels. I'd also love to see a photo or video of what you've made.